The U.S. Government Accountability Office has identified 31 areas where federal agencies can potentially reduce inefficiency and save taxpayers money. Hello and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Candace Kelly and I'm joined by Tom Schatz, President of Citizens Against Government Waste. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Candace. So this is quite a process in terms of looking at the thousands of federal agencies that are out there and, and, and looking at how they overlap. How much money potentially um, could be saved if we try to reduce those overlapping entities? Senator Tom Coburn initiated this process through an amendment to legislation several years ago requiring the GAO to issue these annual reports. The third one, the one that you mentioned, identified those 31 areas. The two prior reports plus the most recent report add up to about $295 billion annually in duplication and overlap according to Senator Coburn's estimates. It's a pretty significant amount of money, could have helped address a lot of the sequestration issues that came up. and it's just mismanaging the taxpayers' money. So the process of, of going through and trying to figure out what has been overlapping, what was that like? Because there are so many. The Government Accountability Office has issued reports on many of these overlapping programs for years, so they consolidated a lot of their prior work, and they looked at what the intent of Congress was for these programs. For example, they may serve different constituencies, yet achieve the same purpose. They run across various agencies. My favorite example is 209 science, technology, engineering, and math programs, which run through 13 agencies, cost $3 billion a year, and yet our science and math education achievement is still in the middle of the pack in the industrialized world. They spend more, they don't get the results. And what happens, I, I would imagine, is that you have so many entities that are doing the same thing that they get in the way of each other and not make it better. That's exactly what the GAO has concluded, and that's the same thing as any other organization. If four of you were sitting here, it wouldn't be much of an interview, because <laughs> right. you'd all be talking at the same time, trying to achieve the same goal. So it's really common sense. We think it's a great area for bipartisan efforts on Capitol Hill. Uh, Senator Coburn and uh, Senator Carper, the, respectively the ranking member and chairman of the Senate Government Affairs and Oversight Committee, uh, they've talked about working on these issues. Uh, the House has recently passed legislation requiring each federal agency to identify duplicative programs. So we'll have more and more information. The transparency will help. And then someone has to do something to eliminate the duplication. Some other interesting duplication, um, 679 renewable energy initiatives and three federal offices involved in overseeing catfish inspections. Uh, the catfish inspection is a good one because before 2008 it was only the USDA, the Department of Agriculture, that oversaw catfish. Someone threw in the Federal uh, Drug Administration to get involved in this. <laughs> and the Senate eliminated this during the debate on the Farm Bill in 2013 and 14, and yet they decided to leave that alone. So now we have two different agencies inspecting catfish. Doesn't make any sense, yet someone thought in the catfish industry that this would be a great idea. Because One hand doesn't know what the other hand is doing. Well, they, in this case, they did it deliberately because part of it is to try to keep out imported catfish. So behind a lot of the duplication is an effort to achieve someone's self-interested goal. Now, uh, there has been something done about this using what's called action trackers. Right. The Government Accountability Office has tracked the recommendations that they have made in those three reports, and some results have been achieved, and yet there's still hundreds of billions of dollars more that could be saved. A lot of it takes Congress's involvement. There are rules in the House that allow the committees to ask GAO if they're implementing a duplicative program, and yet neither the House nor the Senate has decided that nothing can come up if it is duplicative, they can simply create new programs, and that's the big problem. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for being with us. We have to have you back to see what's going on in the next report. Good to see you. Thank you. I'm Candace Kelly for Comcast Newsmakers. Thanks so much for joining us.